Well, the first arriving companies arrived in about three minutes after dispatch. The first engine arrived, they took a line, a hose line, to the second floor. They encountered heavy fire on the third floor. Uh, they made a decision to, to exit the building, back out, regroup. They backed out. We took, uh, put master streams in service, which are the hose lines off the uh, aerial devices, and knocked the bulk of the fire down. But there was heavy fire in this building. Uh, we had uh, pictures that show uh, when the fire was first reported, there was a little bit of smoke coming out of the third floor windows, and within three minutes, there was heavy fire shown from the third floor and the second floor. So the crews encountered heavy fire conditions. They did a great job. The fire boat responded. A fire boat put water on the fire very soon uh, at the arrival. And the guys did a nice job. It, it took a while to get to the fire up in the cupola, but the bulk of the fire was knocked down in about an hour and a half. The uh, Animal County Fire Department responded units in with us. The United States Naval Academy had units in with us. So the three agency, agencies worked together. And we do it all the time. It's a seamless operation. Uh, you know, words cannot describe how proud I am. We had 90 people and 30 pieces of equipment within a matter of minutes. We had the city, the county, the Naval Academy. Everyone came together in partnership. I sent an email out late last night and said I need the county government, the city government, and the state government to come together for a meeting from economic development, how we're going to find them space, what we're going to do to rebuild. So we're going to move forward as quickly as possible. There's 150 employees, and I've talked to the Yacht Club. They said they're committed to taking care of them through the holidays and potentially beyond. So that's great to hear. But we're going to work with them to help find them other jobs in town. We're going to send an email blast to all the other uh, businesses if they need people. They got a great quality staff that's ready to work. It's a huge loss for the community, but it's also an opportunity. And talking with the Commodore and their plans going forward, we're going to help to make sure this place is rebuilt the best it can be.